Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 series of America Rising 2, where today we are back here in the oil rigs laboratory and about to help out Dr. Kane again with, I'm guessing, finding more stuff for her lab, considering the name of the next quest is Procurement. We're probably going to be given a list of things for us to go find in the Commonwealth. And I assume to help her with her FEV experiment and get that all rolling. So let's have a little chat with her and get going on that. Since sadly, uh, sadly, I was unable to find any uh, of the Enclave combat armor that I was really hoping to. I'm guessing we're still going to need a bit more time before we can get that because a lot of the oil rig is still very much destroyed and all just messed up. Uh, a lot of the areas where I figure we might find that, like the armory or the security office, just haven't been fixed yet. So once those do, perhaps we'll finally be able to get something more than just our current Enclave helmet, gas mask, and uh, urban Enclave uniform. Though I am still really glad we did get that in the last episode good times. But yes, uh, Dr. Kane, what is it you need me to find for you? Excuse me, doctor. Now, there is one matter that we must address. Uh-huh. It's all well and good having the tools, but without anything to run the experiments on, it's all for naught. Oh. That being the case, I'm going to need some tissue samples. Oh. By tissue samples, do you mean live people or sample samples? Because with the Enclave... You never know. <laughs> so what sort of assignment are we talking about here? What sort of assignment are we talking about? Thanks to you, I now have the tools I require for my work on the FEV. Mm -hmm. Now I need some tissue samples with which to conduct my experiments on. Uh-huh. Well, how do I obtain them? How do I uh, obtain this tissue sample, exactly? Uh, to clarify, I will be taking the samples. What I need is for you to bring me three living specimens. Yep, bring it back living people. I'm going to need <laughs> two contaminated subjects. For the best results, a heavily mutated creature, as well as your typical wasteland denizen. Uh-huh. And I will also need a pure, untainted human. Oh, yep. I mean, I still wish they would have gone with something other than FEV, because... It's the go-to for the Enclave in every game they're in, and I would like something new and different. But of course, of course, they need an untainted human. Where the hell are we going to find that one, though? And what do you mean by contaminated? What do you mean contaminated? Uh, well, technically, anything exposed to long-term radiation will do. What I'm really looking for are two subjects on the opposite sides of the spectrum. Uh-huh. Uh, one heavily mutated specimen, such as a ghoul or a super mutant as well as a specimen with less obvious mutations like your average wastelander. This will allow me to tailor the FEV adequately. Mm-hmm. And where to find? Where would I find that? Underground, I would expect. A vault like ours. I'm sure you must have somewhere in mind. Now, oh, so you just I need a frozen one? I must stress that the subject has not faced long-term radiation exposure. That would compromise my work. Okay. I mean, we joined the Enclave, we knew what we were getting into, so we're not even going to click that one. <laughs> so I'm ready to get to work. I'm ready to get to work. Uh, here, take this specialized stun baton. Mm. It isn't especially reliable, but you'll need it to stun the specimens long enough to bring them back here. Uh-huh. It's only able to stun every few hours, so be sure to pick your moment. Oh. I suggest less conspicuous targets. Oh. You wouldn't want to make a scene. Oh. Huh. Well, this one's going to be interesting. <laughs> so we now have a, a enhanced stun baton. Ooh. Nifty, nifty. Can only work every few hours, though? I kind of want to test it. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's get to the wasteland. Yeah, how are we going to get a... Oh... I was just wondering, how would we get a fully untainted human? I thought maybe, you know, just go back to Vault 111 and pull out one of the popsicles. But, um, nah, she probably means, like, Vault, what is it, Vault 81? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, huh. Huh. Yeah, just straight up Vault Dweller. <laughs> how 
we gonna get that one? How are we gonna get that one? Oh my god, okay, hmm. Oh boy, where can I find all these? Oh jeez, oh jeez. <laughs> So also on the normal one, so a mutated creature, a wastelander, and a vault dweller. The creature shouldn't be that hard to find. And in fact, where we're located, we should also be able to find a ghoul. Yeah, beside Reservoir. Neat. Let's go over there. We'll have to kill a few, and the last one standing will stun, so that's easy enough. And I assume it'll then just, uh... Auto transport them? <laughs> I assume they'll disappear before my eyes and, uh, you know, head to where it head over to the oil rig. Oh, I hear some fighting. Oh, swarm bots going after. Oh, Jesus, there's a lot of them. I mean, it's obviously one of the caravans, but there goes the Brahmin. I was thinking maybe this could be my opportunity to go after him, but, uh, a wastelander, but. That's just a generic normal caravan. That is, they are all gonna be dead. Oh, I see the people. Yeah, just generic trader. Could I potentially save them and use them? This might I mean, if it's not labeled as a wastelander, will it count if they're they're labeled as a, a traitor? I don't know. Oh, when there's a death claw! <laughs> Uh, I wonder. <laughs> oh God! Hold on! Oh, whoops! Whoops! Wrong button! Wrong button! Wrong button! Damn you! I bought. I wasn't even involved in your BS. How dare you come after me? Well, that death claw is gonna murder all the robots. So that'll be good. I'll just let him do his thing. I'm kind of curious if we will be able. Oh no, he's dead. He's dead. He has been killed by the robots. Oh, that's not great. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's not good. Oh, and the other. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Run. <laughs> oh, those robots are too tough for me. In fact, I wonder, can I cheese them over towards the ghouls and have them thin each other out? It worked well for us in the previous episode with the Assaultron. Oh, God, and a Yagwai now, too! Wait, hold on. The Yagwai we may be able to handle. <laughs> huh. Got it. Yes! Okay. Well, I don't... I don't know. Is that gonna... Is that gonna take? Is it gonna take? I have no idea. Also, there we go. I think the robots might be killing the stunned Yagwai. Huh. Well, <laughs> get back to work over here, I guess. Wait, it also said every few hours. Am I no longer going to be able to do this with the ghouls? Hi, ghouls! All right. Oh, yeah, take out their legs, too. That'll work. That'll be great. Yeah, see, he's down on the ground now. Now that I've got to worry about them about until later. I mean, he's almost dead, but that's doable. The other one just kind of ran back there. And the robots definitely gave up on me. Well, I mean... Might as well give it a go. Ah. Still recharging. Oh! <laughs> How long is that going to take? How long is that going to take? Did we get the... I didn't, I didn't notice the thing changing. Ah, it's not counting. Oh, no. Does a Yagwai not count as a mutated creature? Oh, they probably specifically want a ghoul, don't they? Yeah, because she did say ghoul or person. Oh, man. That's probably what it is. Yagwai doesn't count. Oh, God, hi. <laughs> he finally showed up. I'll take him out, too. So I have options. And he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, so I have options, but no, he's just, he's just straight up dead now. Well, how long is it going to take? I don't know. I don't know. 
Well. Still recharging. Crap. Yeah, wasting it on the Yagwai. Oh, the Yagwai's back up again. I just saw him going after the robot. <laughs> so, the stun doesn't last for that long. Interesting. They appear to have killed him, though. And now they're rolling back that away. Cool. <laughs> well, at least on the plus side, that was actually useful, though. Even though I'm annoying, I'm going to have to wait a little while for this thing to recharge. The Yao Guai saved my butt because he basically got used as a decoy. <laughs> His lifeless, stunned corpse just lying there. We'll let the robots attack him instead of me. Oh, God, hi! Hi, guys, how are you? When did you suddenly decide to show up? Oh, boy. There we go. Okay, take out the leg. Oh boy, oh boy, that's not great, that's not great. He's a coming, he's a coming. There we go. And, I mean, he's very wounded, but I can't... That's his leg. There we go, he's down. Oh, reload, 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 reload. Take him down! Now well, he's just dead. Okay, I have two potential specimens now. <laughs> ah, good times, good times. Where was the other one we killed? Ah, right behind this dude. No, just a research test tube? Alright, well you're... You're both about the same. Well, let's see. Crap. <laughs> Still recharging. Oh, crap, crap, crap. The robot, the robot found me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we just need to run. We'll have to find ghouls somewhere else. Again, the, uh, the things on the floor, I think, just saved my butt because they decided to attack them because they're easy targets rather than me. Oh, it means I lost my ghouls, though. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> now what am I gonna do? Hmm. No. Oh, God, I hear you. I hear you, son of a bitch, Stingwings. <clears throat> There's one behind me, isn't there? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, damn it, I hate you. I hate you so so much. I'm out of action points. Spray and pray. Spray and pray. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, the robots again. <laughs> Today is not my day. Oh, legendary one. Legendary one. Oh, I hear a vertebrate too. Oh, hi, you. Hello. Out of my way. Out of my way. Running, running, running. There we go. Oh god, now wild mongrels too. God, just move. Just... <laughs> Things are not going my way today, are they? You know what? I'm gonna travel somewhere else. I'm gonna travel somewhere else. Hmm. This might be a good place to get a person. A normal wastelander. I wonder if a if a raider would count though. I kind of assume they would. Huh. I'd rather send a raider than a random civilian, but what does the thing just says wastelander? Hmm. I kinda wanna give it a go if we can't do a raider though. Where could I easily find raiders? Honestly, somewhere over here. I mean, Hangman's Alley is actually still probably full of them right now because I have all the map markers, but I never actually took this place as a settlement, so they're probably back there. Let's do something horrible and stupid and teleport right into the middle of them all. <laughs> we just gotta leave one of them alive. That's it. That's all we need. One of them alive. And then... Maybe stun them. God, the Vault Dweller one's going to be a real pain in the butt. Oh. 
How are we gonna get someone alone in Vault 81? Oh man. <laughs> man, those robots just had to show up right when I had two ghouls on the floor though. Ah. Where else could I find a ghoul? Uh, there's always the, wait, hold on, get my gun out, get my gun out, we're out. Oh, thank God it was back here. There's the, what, that shipping facility? Not too far from 111, we'll probably get a ghoul there. What the fuck was that? Hello. Alright, we've got three ah, left. So don't kill all of them. Oh. Now God, now God, he's he's a hitting me. He's a hitting me. How dare you use a stem? Two left, two left. Okay. No one's down. Only one remains. Get out the tool <laughs> and charge them. Charge them. There you are. Hello, Raider Scum. Yeah, he didn't count. It's got to be a normal a person labeled as a wasteland. Oh, sent. I kind of figured it would just happen. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I figured we'd stun him and it would just happen. I didn't realize we then had to actually click on them. I'm so glad I just found that out. You've incapacitated this human with the enhanced stun baton. Do you want to send it back to the Enclave rig as a sample for Dr. Kane? Yes! As a wasteland inhabitant. Sweet! We learned. We learned! <laughs> oh, I am so glad. Maybe we could have sent the Yagwai. That's probably a bad plan, though, to put a Yagwai on our oil rig. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I just figured that out, though. Oh, Also, there should be some uh, ghouls around here somewhere, shouldn't there? The tunnel, I think. Oh, I've never done the quest to get in here, too. In, on this character, so I... Oh, oh, no, I didn't even think about that. How am I going to get a Wastelander, then? Or a, a Vault Dweller? These are all popsicles. Isn't the only vault that's actually still all active here where we can get a living one? This? Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about that. Oh, this character is so low level. We never did any of the um any of the quests for those things. Oh no. Well, Sunshine Tidings Co No, not that. Uh, Wicked Yeah, Wicked Shipping is where there's a ghoul over here. Let's go do that cuz I know that there's ghouls there. We got a lot more raiders and super mutants in here, and I know that there's ghouls somewhere, but I don't remember exactly where. It's been so long since I've actually had to think. Oh, well, there's some over here for sure. You know what? While we're in the area, let's see if we can just get into Vault 81 real quick. <laughs> let's see if that can pan out for us. <laughs> yeah, don't we? Yeah, we. I don't have the quest. I don't have the quest for him. But if we can just get inside real quick and be like, hey, yo, I'm a fellow vault dweller. Don't mind me. Yeah, Brotherhood. Cool. Then, you know, we might we might be able to pull it off. If I can just get briefly inside. <laughs> Let's see if that'll work. And then, yeah, there's some ghouls over by, like, where the railroads uh, hangout is. But yeah, at the Wicked Shipping, I know for sure. Yeah, there's no one out here. They're inside. God, and then we also gotta find one of them who's alone. Ugh. Man, and with the procurement, I really thought we'd just be looking for some more supplies. Now I'm trying to have to think here and go, oh, damn it. What do we, what do we need to get? Oh, no. All right, well, a boop. Let's activate this thing. Security at the in the vault up here is there. How many are there out by the vault entrance? <laughs> Hold it right there. Oh, hi. Vault eighty one security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but 
you better start talking. <laughs> I'm from Vault 111, yeah. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. Mm -hmm. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? Kidnap one of you? I mean, oh, 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 just a traveler. <laughs> I'm just a traveler. I thought I'd take a look around. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Hi, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Come on. Ma'am. We're going along. Some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Crap! That's what I—that's what I was fearing. Speak to them. I, yeah, we have—I haven't dealt with them in so long. I forgot how we get in. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. Uh huh. Uh huh. What do I gotta do? We like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. Fair. I'll—I'll do this quest off camera. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just? Let me in. All the more reason to Dang. have a fellow vault then. Yeah, I figured that wasn't gonna work. Uh, yeah, I mean, what do you need? I'll I'm do interested. it off camera. I'll do it off what camera. What is it you need? <laughs> fusion cores. Three. To oh, never mind. I got those on me. We're good. You get the fusion cores. We grant the access. It's been so long. I didn't realize that was as simple as it was. I've got multiples of those. Uh, I already got some fusion cores you need. I already have the fusion cores you need. Really? Mm-hmm. Well then. I suppose I should say welcome. Wonderful. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. Sweet. Oh my god, let's kidnap the overseer. <laughs> no, we need to pick someone who's a target we could hit somewhere else where no one's looking. Oh god, yeah, there's too much security up here. There's Absolutely. too much security up here. Come on, when my another guys have been working doubles double for weeks now. God, I hear you. Uh, Miranda. Maybe you could see about right working. Resident, that's who I need right there. That's who I need. Yeah, yeah, blah blah blah, you guys. Blah blah blah. I'll see what I can do. Keep it moving. I need to find one of you on your own. Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Yeah, yeah, I know. Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Cool, thanks. Here, I just need to find someone who's in private. We've maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. Cool. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. Yeah, I know. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Yeah, of course. Hmm. So you do rely on the Commonwealth. Uh -huh. A bit, yes. Although some here would argue that opening our doors was a mistake. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, it's a dangerous place. You should be wary. You let one. In, you let someone dangerous, dangerous in. <laughs> exactly why we rely on a select few traders for our needs. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. why I like to use a give and take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, yeah, yeah, I know, we'll overseer. You know, I maybe I should just be going through. If you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from. Oh you. yeah, sweet. Uh, here you go. Of course. Here they are. Thank you. Dr. Pensky will greatly appreciate these. Wonderful. Now, I have work to do. Okay, bye-bye. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Wonderful. Okay, now I gotta find someone who's alone. All right, we're in Vault 81 now. There's, there's this Neil requires terminal. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find someone alone. <laughs> that we can go after. Impressive. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, no, God, there's, there's just too much security. There's too much security around here. How am I going to get one of these vault dwellers? No one's looking. Uh, you know what? Uh, quick save. <laughs> oh, security's gotten too close now, and there's that lady up there. She'll probably definitely hear. Oh, I, I don't I don't know how, how good they are at figuring things out and how much this baton is going to alert people. Damn it. Karen's not going to like this. Uh -huh. I got two words oh, on what cat's I expect free. out of you. <laughs> Best behavior. Yeah, quiet, Edwards. I'm going to try and kidnap one of your people here, and it's not going well for me right now. <laughs> I mean, there's multiple people we could probably take, but they're all so it's close been a while to since others. Someone from the Commonwealth last visited us. I, I mean, I'm wondering if we could get this dude. I, I, we quick save. Let's give it a go. Why not? What? Whoa! 
You oh, were... it was still recharged. <laughs> <laughs> it was still recharging. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the recharge. You know, I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll come back. So I'll go. <laughs> I'll go get a cool. Uh, or, you know, was there a chair in there or something? I could have sat for a while. <laughs> yeah, there's some chairs. Let's do that. Let's do that. I forgot about the recharge. I forgot about the recharge. Oh, uh, yeah, let's wait for like five hours. Cool. Okay, that'll hopefully work. Maybe there'll be a better target, too, now. <laughs> now they're there. Oh god, everyone's so close together. I don't know if they're gonna. <sighs> Heard we had a I'm gonna give it a try again, random resident. Sorry. What just happened? A lot of blood. It's still recharging. How many hours does it take? <laughs> also, they all. Pro I'm. I wonder if they would have. Had I had they been knocked out at first, but since they weren't knocked out because of the recharge, I hate having to save scum like this. But the goddamn recharge rate on this thing, I don't know what it is, and waiting five hours wasn't enough. Which makes no goddamn sense. It definitely took us probably around that amount of time to just fast travel over to Hangman's Alley. So where were we? We were over. Yeah, I mean, that's probably only took like five hours of fast travel time, right? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna try again. Let's let's wait for ten. Let's wait for ten. <laughs> or with my luck, it technically won't work uh, with waiting because sometimes modded stuff that requires quote unquote time, it's real world time rather than in game time, just because of how it calculates. So I don't know if this is even gonna work. Yeah, I'm very annoyed that I'm having to save scum here, but it's really our only option on this. Hey, stun baton's ready. Cool. I didn't notice that before. Well, let's give it another go. You're pissed. Ah, well, you know what? I'll take it. I don't care. I'll never come back to Vault 81 again in this playthrough. I'm on Clay, fools. <laughs> Away! We got our, our target. I'm okay with it now. I don't mind if I never come back here. <laughs> So long as the Enclave doesn't need something from here. <laughs> I'll roll with it. I'll roll with it. I'll take it. So yeah, they still definitely did uh, hear it. Cool. Well, now we just got to get a ghoul. <laughs> I was really hoping no one would have heard, but oh well. Oh well, keep on running just in case. Actually, why even do that? Let's just fast travel over to... Abernathy Farm! There we are. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay if Vault 81 hates us now for kidnapping one of their people. I'm perfectly okay with that. And we got a pure Vault Dweller human. Magnificent. Stun Baton's ready. Alright, let's go to Wicked Shipping and grab a ghoul. Nope, couldn't jump over. There we go. Here's some fighting over that way. Huh. That's probably Vault 111. That's not great. Oh, well, not my problem. Not my problem in the slightest. Let's get a ghoul. Ghouls? You know what? One of them usually pops out from, like, under one of the trucks, don't they? So if we can just handle that real quick, we'll be good. Yeah, there he is. Hey, friend! Uh. Huh. Got him. <laughs> Mutated creature. And now... We don't need anything else. Huzzah. <laughs> Back to the rig. Yay. <laughs> that was... Oh, boy. Glad I realized with the raider that we could... Uh, that we had to interact with them. And, yeah, I'm okay with Vault 81 hating me now. <laughs> that's, that's their fault. That's their problem. That's their problem to deal with. Hopefully just the Enclave doesn't need them anymore for anything cuz they wanted a pure human so i mean how else am i gonna <laughs> how else am i gonna get it i also very much dislike that it keeps every time we need to go to the doctor uh-huh 
Heard the facility was crawling with locals. Oh, uh -huh. cool. I want your armor, sir. I really dislike that the, uh, oh, it actually finally changed. Uh, the icon for where to go on my compass keeps taking me through the main building every time we need to go to the doctor over in the lab, which is real strange. And I don't know why when, you know, we're right out here. Just got to go through this door. But, oh, well, there we go to Dr. Kane. And those poor people are probably downstairs in those cells now, aren't they? Oh, Doc. Yo! Welcome back. The specimens you brought are impeccable. I'm glad I can help. I've taken some initial samples, and I will soon be ready to run preliminary tests. Wonderful! So, I uh, think I've earned a reward. I think I've earned a reward. I'm afraid I don't have anything Damn it. to part with. Man! Alright, this didn't do any good for them, did it? Hmm. This didn't do any good for him, did it? Uh, some of the procedures may be fatal, yes. <laughs> well, glad to help. Glad to help. One last thing before you go. I believe Captain Peterson was looking cool, for Cool, so you. that's the next quest. Got it. Oh, no, they took the stun baton from me. Oh, well, let's go check down at the cells, and then next episode we'll go to the, uh, the next mission, whatever it's about to say it is. What's going to pop? What's going to pop? Supply and demand. There we go. Talk to Captain Peterson. Okay, so we got the ghoul in here. Uh, all right, so this place has all been cleaned up nicely now. Nice, nice, nice. Everything was just all strewn about the floors before. Uh, no one in that one. Do I look like I have time for idle chit chat? No one in that one. Quiet you. Oh, there's the resident. You can barely see him there. You know what? I forgot that the floor is up there, or glass. We could see them much better. I did not see the raider in that one, though. Hold on, yeah. Let's go back up. See our, our specimens that we collected. God, still not very visible. <laughs> yep, there's our vault resident. Wonderful. And up oh, there's the raider. Hey. Just chilling on the floor. Cool. Well, that is going to be it for this episode, then. I'm a horrible, horrible person, but hey, we knew what we were getting into when we joined the Enclave. Because, I mean, it's the Enclave, of course. <sighs> Still going with, why do they always got to do FEV? Come up with something new, people. Something new. <laughs> but, yeah, next episode, we'll go talk to uh, Captain Peterson, see what he needs for this I'm assuming we're going to get him supplies now, too, and see where it does take us. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, we'll have a good one.